Hi guys, so before we start this video today, as usual, I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members. They are Shane Cook, Darren Lynch, Aina Lund and Matthew Reynolds. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you want to join those guys, get videos 24 hours early and shout outs and more, as well as we're going to be doing giveaways. There will be a video about that soon, I promise. Uh, at the end of August, we're going to do our first giveaway. Um, just check out the join options below. It doesn't matter which um, membership tier you choose. There will be the, you will be including the giveaway. All you need to do is join the channel and be on my Cash Kai Guy Facebook group. Um, other than that, just a little update. I've got quite a big thing going on in my life at the moment. It's a sort of a life event, um, but it's going to probably affect my video releases. So I'm going to try and do my best to at least do one a week. But I'm not going to be able to guarantee what I've been doing lately in regards to having them out on Wednesday and Saturday for members or Thursday and Sunday for public. I'm going to try my best to keep them going, um, but you know hopefully i'll be able to get back to normal as soon as possible so yeah let's crack on with the video today is going to be a pretty quick one but it's a sort of a general um how-to guide so it doesn't matter if you've got a cash guy a ford fiesta whatever whatever you got this will be useful for all of you and it's going on to something that i did announce in my um channel update video just there um about the D or the vinyls that we're going to do um so first of all what we need to do is debadge the car because the vinyls that i've got i shall get them now are these now obviously it's, it's on its vinyl base so it looks bad it's back to front i think it's like that back to front I don't know. but as you can see that is the cash kai logo um i've had them done in three different sizes Ooh, i've only got two of them here with me so we've got pretty large medium and then we had a smaller one as well um so on screen now you'll see the uh, new cash car the brand new 2021 cash car and that has got that logo across the back obviously that is the actual badges not a sticker like we're going to do but that is my plan um my next video i'm going to have ross cook from vinylution helping me out um showing how best to fit them the best way of doing it um and you'll see how they look on the car and hopefully if you're interested in buying them we'll uh, set a link up and you'll be able to purchase them yourself so what we need to do is debadge the car um, now to do that it's pretty simple probably depending on how old your car is mine is pretty old now let's face it it's a 2014 model so it's seven years old um, so the badges on mine have been through all different sorts of weather etc etc so it's easy for me I would hope, would hope um, and it'll be a case of peeling them off with a bit of heat now the ideal thing to use would be with a heat gun I haven't got one of them I've got my wife's hair dryer <laughs> so I'll be using that um, bit of heat peel it off and then we should get the sticky residue off and then use something like this sticky stuff remover um, which is made to remove sticky stuff so it says on it uh, chewing gum tar adhesive which is what we're going to be playing with wax wet paint sticky tape the list goes on there's a lot on there i'll put a link to this just below it only costs about five i think four or five pounds from amazon so if you need to get some of that it'd be useful um, but yeah, what we're going to do now is head down to the car, get the hairdryer onto the badges and get them removed, uh, give it a wipe down and then get some of this on the go. So let's head down to the car now. So it was quite a windy day on this day, um, so I'm going to do some commentary afterwards like this. Uh, you can see what I'm using is the hairdryer just to heat up the badge and the adhesive that's holding it in place. Uh, just to point out, each of the letters are individual, they're not joined together, so you have to do them one at a time. So using the heat from the hairdryer and a plastic pry tool so I don't damage the paint, I'm just heating them up and just pulling them off. Um, you may find if you've got a newer car that this will take a bit longer because the adhesive will be newer, whereas obviously with my car being a 2014 model, this adhesive has been through all sorts of weather and stuff like that for the last what, seven years. Um, so yeah, um, it's just a case of peeling off each letter. Now what I don't show you in this video actually is that I removed the DCI badge from the opposite side. Um, some of your cash cars might not have another badge on the other side, but mine being the DCI, it has got the blue and silver badge on the other side. Um, and that was the same again, just warm it up and peel it off.
So once that was off, uh, next it's time to get some soapy warm water and a cloth of some sort just to give it a good scrub and try and take off a bit of the top. Uh, it left quite a bit of the adhesive on for me, um, so this was quite a hefty screwing point. Um, and I used the pry tool again just to try and peel at this adhesive to get as much of the thicker stuff, it's almost like a foam, off before using the uh, sticky remover solution that I've got. So now uh, we moved on to the other side, this is where you can see where the DCI badge was. Um, and I'm just basically following the instructions on the sticky stuff remover and that is just to apply it liberally onto a cloth and get it onto the entire area that needs the adhesive removing. So you can see I sort of pour it onto the cloth as I'm wiping it on and then it just says to leave it for around about five to seven minutes. So this is about five to seven minutes later as it says um, and I used the plastic pry tool just to pick at the remaining adhesive. Um, in hindsight I think the best thing to do is uh, get the cloth that you're using and sort of put your nail, you know your fingernails the other side of the cloth and pick through the cloth if that makes sense so you're not directly scratching your car you're sort of picking it through the cloth so uh, that also applies more, any more of this adhesive remover at the same time as it picking away at it. Okay, and uh, once that's done, it's just a case of once again following what the instructions say, and that's to get some more warm soapy water and just to clean it off. I suppose it's to get rid of any of the residue that's left on there. Um, I don't know, it might cause a bit of damage to the paint or the plastics if it's left on there naturally. So yeah, just to get some more soapy water, give everywhere that's been in contact with it a good clean. Um, and yeah, that's that bit. And that's it done. You can see a slight mark still there, but I think a good wash and it'll be gone. there you have it so sorry I couldn't do the audio wash I was out there it's just quite a windy day um, and also yeah it's just better for me just to do an over like a commentary on top um, you saw that I used this to pick at it this is a pry tool if you didn't know um, yeah it's useful for when it's thicker but when it gets to the real small you know hard to pick up stuff I actually found it's best once I used the um, sticky remover this stuff to actually just sort of scrape at it with my nail through the cloth and just give it some you know scraping action i mean it's not damaged the paintwork or anything i think it's perfect but i'm happy with it it's better um and then yeah just give it a, a, a wash to get any of the residue of this stuff off um just in case it i don't think it can damage the paint it's it's made for um removing stuff without doing too much damage so i don't think there'll be any damage to the paint but i've taken any residue off so that's it for now uh just a pretty quick one um it's Almost self-explanatory, just you know, pick off those badges. Um, when you've got them left at the end, I don't know, keep them one day. DCI badge, it's all sort of stuck to itself now. Look. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep these because uh, you know, one day when I sell the car, the new owner may want to put them back on, which they can do if so. I'll, I'll just keep hold of those badges, put them in a bag somewhere with the other stuff I've modified. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Look out for that video that I'll be doing. It should be the next video um, about these vinyls because um, they're not the easiest to fit because they're so long. You know, because the, I mean, this is the smaller one, because the letters are so spaced out, making it perfectly, you know, central isn't easy. So hopefully Ross will be able to show us that. Um, that should be the next video that you guys see. So thanks as usual for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one.